The pandemic is causing an increase in medical waste in parts of the world. China not only had to build more hospitals to accommodate a surge of patients, but they also built new medical waste plants to burn the toxic trash. It's a medical process many of us will likely never see. But Jamie Prez shows us what happens after that medical waste leaves the hospitals. We've become very familiar with the medical gear that hospital staff wear, but what we aren't familiar with is what happens to it after it's tossed out. I think the good news is, is that it's not treated any differently, which makes life a fair bit easier. It's pretty easy to kill that virus so we can follow our normal protocols. Jeffrey Pothoff at UW Health said the process starts with safety measures at the hospital. Designated areas that are, are donning and doffing, so where we can put it on, where we can take it off. Then they work with a company called Mary, based in Wanakee, where they properly sterilize and dispose of the waste. Steam gets in injected and then it, it moves underneath microwaves which also provide more heat. So we heat this waste up to over 200 degrees Fahrenheit. The process takes about 60 minutes and when it comes out the end it's deposited into a uh, compactor and it looks like confetti. Jim Fitzpatrick is the CEO at Mary. He said the reason medical waste can't just go in the trash has everything to do with protecting the environment and the general public. So we protect the air because we're disinfecting the material and the exhaust air that comes off the facility. Water that might come in with our system is going down a drain. That material is being disinfected. And then the waste itself that goes to the landfill is, is completely disinfected before it's deposited in the, to the landfill. And right now, they're actually seeing 30% less medical waste than usual, even in the midst of this pandemic. Here's why. We have decreased a lot of those non-urgent, non-emergent procedures, uh, many of those being cases that are done in the OR or procedure suites where we would use PPE uh, to protect the patients and our staff. Um, since we're not doing that, and we haven't had a large surge of COVID-19 patients, uh, our medical waste is actually lower than it typically would be. Regardless of how much waste they're seeing, their only concern is making sure the final steps before ending up in a landfill are done right. In Madison, Jamie Perez, News 3 Now. UW Health, SSM Health, and Unity Point Meritor all use Mary to properly dispose of their medical waste. Mary visits those hospitals every day to pick up that waste and dispose of it.